RF Encoder Decoder Chipsets by RF Solutions. Welcome to this training module on RF Encoder Decoder Chipsets from RF Solutions. This training module introduces the basic operation of the RF 600 Encoder Decoder Chipset. Remote control via RF or IR is popular for many applications including vehicle alarms, automatic garage doors, lighting control, and home security systems. In many of these applications, different levels of security are required. Keylock, patented by Microchip, provides several access and security to systems in which it is used. Keylock is based on a proprietary nonlinear encryption algorithm that creates a unique transmission on every use rendering code capture and resend schemes useless. Keylock reduces the possibility of unwanted access. The RF Solutions RF600E and RF600D are easy to use encoder and decoder ICs. They have been designed to achieve the maximum possible range from any radio or infrared link transmitter receiver set. These devices are very easy to use and can be inserted directly into a circuit. The RF600D has an easy to learn feature enabling it to learn up to seven unique RF600E encoder devices in standalone mode or up to 48 encoder devices when used in conjunction with an external double EEPROM. The RF600E is a simple encode device to use. It requires only the addition of input switches and RF circuitry for use as the transmitter in the end application. Transmission is automatic without user intervention. The RF600E will wake up upon detecting a switch closure and then delay approximately 6.5 milliseconds for switch debounce. The encoded or hopping code portion of the transmission will change every time a button is pressed, even if the same button is pushed again. The RF600E reads the battery status, the voltage, on each operation. If the voltage is, detecting, is detected as being below 3.8 volts, then a flag bit is transmitted to the decoder where, it was, where it's made available. Here is a circuit diagram for an FM radio module using the RF600E. One of the four switches is operated to wake up the RF600E and cause transmission. These four switches are switched directly to VCC. Transmission occurs for the duration of the switch operation. The power supply needs to be a stable, regulated voltage with less than 10 milliamps ripple. A direct LED drive with internal circuit limit of typically 1 milliamp operates when the RF600E is transmitting. The data output, pin 6, is a standard CMOS TTL output that can be connected directly to the data input of the RF module. The RF600D decoder is simple to use. In the standalone operation, the RF600D has the capability to learn up to seven unique RF600E transmitters. With the addition of a double EEPROM memory device, this is increased to 48 RF600E encoders. The RF600D is connected directly to the data output of a radio receiver module and upon detection of a valid data packet it will decode the key lock encrypted data stream. This circuit where the RF600D is used in its internal double EEPROM mode provides a complete decoding solution capable of learning up to seven unique encoders. The RF600D requires only the addition of the following components. A learn switch, an LED, and an option link resistor. 
The learn switch is used in the process of learning a transmitter encoder to the decoder and also to initiate erasure of encoder information. The LED indicates the status of the learn process, the erase process, and also data reception status. An option link resistor allows selection of four momentary or four latched outputs. This input may be tied to VCC or ground to fix the output operation. The RF600D is connected directly to the data output of the radio receiver module and upon detection of a valid data packet it will decode the key lock encrypted data stream. Holding the sleep pin, pin 13 high, will cause the device to run normally. Holding this pin low will enable the device to enter a sleep mode where the current drain will be 1 microamp. This application circuit with an external EE prom provides a complete decoding solution capable of learning up to 48 unique encoders. The RF600D can operate with an external 96C76 EE prom device as additional memory to store identity information of transmitters and coders. Data stored within the EE prom is encrypted to maintain security. The RF600E uses a fully balanced Manchester encoded data protocol designed for optimum use of the radio transmission path. The data format automatically includes a preamble, synchronization header, followed by the encrypted and fixed code data, then a CRC check. The actual packet size is 67 bits. Each transmission is followed by a guard period before another transmission can begin. The RF600D will process the serial data including the serial number, button, and battery status which are successfully received from the RF600E. It also gives an indication of which inputs of the encoder have been activated and the status of the encoder battery. The data output of the 600D may be fed directly into a microcontroller or RS-232 driver. The serial data string includes seven digit key lock serial number, transmission button information with battery status, carriage return ASCII 2 characters, and line feed ASCII 2 characters. The key lock button status is transmitted as an ASCII character in the range capital A through capital O or if the battery, if the low battery bit is asserted it will be transmitted in the range of lowercase a to lowercase o. Key lock data bits S0, S1, S2, and S3 then make up the ASCII byte least significant bits D0, D1, D2, and D3. If a single encoder button is pressed, say S0, then character capital A will be sent, or if the, latter, if the battery is low, lowercase a. If encoder button S1 is pressed, then capital B is sent. If S0 and S1 are both pressed simultaneously, then character capital C will be sent. If all key lock encoder buttons are simultaneously pressed, then character capital O will be sent. LRN input or learn input is used to set the RF600D decoder module to learn mode and for the erase function and is also used to drive the status LED. Usually a momentary contact push button switch are used for the learn switch. Briefly pressing and releasing the learn switch allows the device to enter the learn mode. The status LED will illuminate while the switch is pressed and remain on when released. Operating the transmitter encoder once, the status LED on the decoder will extinguish. Operating the transmitter encoder a second time, the status LED on the decoder will flash. After the status LED has stopped flashing, the transmitter has been successfully taught and trained 
to the decoder. To completely erase all transmitter data, press and hold the learn switch on the decoder for 8 seconds. The status LED will illuminate continuously while the switch is held down and then flash while the decoder erases all its memory. The RF eval kit is a hardware development platform designed to assist the design engineer with the design of a remote telemetry application. This kit provides several projects. Each project utilizes a transmitter encoder incorporating the RF600E. The RF eval receiver board uses the RF600D to perform RF or IR reception and decoding, providing a variety of outputs.